guys, welcome back. We're Thai and Soph and we are in Langkawi in Malaysia. So far Malaysia, we have discovered the bustling city of Kuala Lumpur, the beautiful Cameron Highlands, and we've eaten our way around Georgetown and Penang. And now we are going to be discovering this beautiful paradise island, Langkawi. So Langkawi consists of 99 islands on Malaysia's west coast. It's famous for its pristine beaches, beautiful rainforests, gorgeous landscapes, and of course the amazing duty-free shopping. So far, we're absolutely loving it, but let's see what it has to offer. Some of the journey's done now, so we've got the bus into Georgetown and then we've got a taxi over the bridge onto mainland. We've just got to the bus station now, so we're gonna go check in for our bus and that leaves at 9 a.m. and then that can get us up near to uh Kuala Pirelis. Kuala Pirelis and then from there we then get the boat up to Langawi. So this um, bus station is called Penang Central. It only took about half an hour from Georgetown to get here. Just stopped at a little restaurant uh, at the bus station and we just ordered a couple of roti canayas. Say hey. Okay. Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, could we get some milk, please? You want me? Up? Yes, please. I don't know what this sauce is. So this is like basically like bread. Okay. So the roti is obviously like before it's like bread, but then you get this sauce. I don't know what this sauce is. So that's going to be interesting. So I'm trying roti canaya and. That's all spicy now. No, 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 there it is. Look, so this is rotten canola. Give it a dip. Dip in that sauce. Yeah. That's nice. It's not spicy. Ooh. It's like a curry sauce. Mmm. I like that. I really like that. And then we just got coffees with condensed milk. And it only costs one RM 45 cents. It's so, so good. like 10 past 3 something like that yeah so i think it's a couple hours on here it might be less actually i don't actually know, yeah. to let you know. the boat seems all right it seems quite comfortable langkawi baby <laughs> tax-free heaven beer cheap beer can you tell me i'm excited we've just arrived at our accommodation in langkawi it was about half an hour from the port. So the taxi was £4.71, which isn't too bad for a half an hour journey. First impressions is it's a really nice little place. It's a budget accommodation. It's just like a little bungalow. Um, and it has only cost us £57 for five nights. We've got a TV, we've got a fridge, we've got a nice little bathroom. Very good value for money. It's got a really good review on booking.com with something like and we asked her about getting a moped and straight away she's going to sort one for us tomorrow morning so really helpful straight away as well so yeah definitely recommend this little place if you guys would like to book this accommodation for when you come here the link will be in the description so it's about it's 20 past 6 in the evening now oh my god we've got a cat <laughs> cat just started walking in the room <laughs> it's like no. It's probably a pet here. It's got a lead on, a collar on. So tonight we're just staying in now. It's the evening, so it's a bit late to go out and do like daytime activities and stuff. Um, so we're gonna have a fresh start tomorrow. Get the moped and do some exploring. So tune in tomorrow. So it is the morning of the day after we arrived and our hotel dropped us off um, a bike. It's 35 RM a day and we've just come to put some petrol in it. Couldn't quite work it out. <laughs> it's a bit different to um, England. It's a bit different to other places in Southeast Asia because 
normally you turn up at a petrol station they just fill it up for you just how much you want they yeah. do it all for you boom but here we've rocked up there's no one here and yeah. then she's calling me over at that counter so, so I went over there wrong. pay first then I had to wait and yeah. yeah what did you put in four ring it four ring it four ring it it's about 77p petrol's pretty cheap here four ring it it's gonna give me nearly half a tank Four ring it half a tank 77p all right let's go we're gonna go into the main town where we're staying which is called Pan Tai Sinang, I think eight minutes away let's go let's, let's go So we have come down to Pantai Selang, which is like, it's the main touristy place on the island of Langkawi, um, which is why we stayed here. It was a good place to base yourself. Um, there's lots of like tour places around, so you can easily arrange tours here. The beach is nice, there's lots of places to eat. So yeah, we decided to stay here. We have just came to a little local restaurant. We're having roti canai. Actually, I've just, I've just had, it's actually roti canai. We've been saying it wrong the whole time because he just said he repeated after me Roti Chennai. I was like, oh no, I'll be saying Roti Chennai. You've probably noticed in our videos we pronounce things wrong a lot of the time. We apologise. <laughs> We're having Roti Chennai again and tea tarik or te tarik. No know. idea. Let's have comments. Pool tea, the famous pool tea which we tried in Kuala Lumpur and we tried it in Penang. Those videos are here if you want to watch those after this one. But today is kind of more of like a get to feel the place, get to feel Langkawi. We're going to hopefully arrange some tours and to do over the next few days. We're kind of like just getting the feel for the place today and we're going to show you guys what it's about and yeah. Rotti. <laughs> that tastes stronger than the ones we've had before and I like a strong cup of tea so that's really nice. So we just finished yeah. eating at the restaurant. We had three rotis and we had two tetariks, um, and it was only eight ringgit, which is like one pound fifty for breakfast. Like, how good is that? That's insane value. Yeah. Really happy with that. That's great for like being on the budget. Beautiful, isn't it? Paradise. So we just got to this beach. This is the main beach in Pantai Chenang, and it reminds us of Thailand. It's pristine, white sand. The sea looks lovely. Palm trees. It is in the same sea as the Thai islands, the Andaman Sea. So it's probably why it's got similarities. But it just looks so nice. I can't wait to get in that sea. This is probably the best beach we've actually seen in a long time. Um, we haven't really been in beaches because we've been in such like city life in Kuala Lumpur and stuff like that. The one in Penang was quite nice, but this is on a whole other level. Also, what I've noticed is walking around, um, everything seems to be a lot cheaper here because I knew it was um, a lot cheaper for alcohol because there was no tax and stuff like that. But I've actually learned that the reason there's no tax here is because the government actually cut tax in the, I think it was 1987, if I'm wrong, let me know. I think it's 1987, and the government actually cut taxes to try and bring uh, bring more tourists to the island. Weird that it's just this island, but I suppose they probably tested it out, tried it. It probably works. They're like, oh, let's just keep it going. Like, I love it. I think it's great. But um, this is obviously a holiday destination for a lot of Malaysians. Holiday destination for a lot of tourists that come here. It is busy here. There is a lot going on, and everything seems to be pretty much open here as well, which is really good. But yeah, let's see this beautiful beach. Let's go. and the sea it's actually so soft and the sea is so warm oh, it feels so nice on my feet look at that such a lovely landscape as well you've got the white nice white sand you've got the lovely sea mountains little island over there there's loads of there's loads of um, water sports on this beach as well 
tropical trees. Oh, it's just lovely. So nice. There's just so much to do here. It definitely takes like a holiday destination. Yeah, it's lovely. Restaurants all along the beach, water activities. There's families here on holiday. It's the weekend, so it's probably a little bit busier than normal. Good first impressions so far, but we've still got a lot to see. So we spent a couple of hours at the beach and it was absolutely gorgeous and now we are heading to a very famous landmark here in Langkawi and it's about how long? 30, about 36 minute drive. 36 minute drive on the moped. Wait and see where we're going to go. just come to Langkawi's iconic statue which actually is the first thing you see when you come here on boat or even if you fly in I'm pretty sure it's like one of the main things you see from what I've read online it's 40 feet tall as well so it's huge so in Langkawi there's actually loads of eagles here when you go on like tours and stuff you can see all the eagles come down you can feed the eagles and stuff like that so they, this statue is actually inspired by the eagles here so we're actually in Kua and this statue is on Kua Bay so let's go check it out it's a huge sculpture here kind of looks like um, something from Star Wars or something something from Star Wars? it looks like a, sh like a spaceship isn't it a sundial? is it? <laughs> I think it's a sundial it's a sundial that's cool. Does it like a spaceship though? So this place is called Eagle Square or locally known as Dataran Lang. As you can see it's home to the giant statue of the eagle. So according to old folklore Langkawi actually got its name from the local eagle here. So it comes from the two Malay words Halang which means eagle and Kawi which means reddish brown. Hence Langkawi so reddish brown eagle. So that's where Langkawi comes from. Even though this place is called Eagle Square, it's actually sat 12 meters on top of a star shape. It's actually overlooking the Kua Jetty, and also it's free to come and check out. So it's a must do while you're here. You may as well come and check it out. It's a pretty cool thing to see. And it's a lovely view. And you can also see the other famous tower over there. I think they might actually be eagles up there, flying over the eagle statue. Cool. It's so hot here today. This morning, about half six, it was pouring it down with rain. It woke me up, it was that loud. Um, and then weather's like this later on in the afternoon. So it feels like 36 degrees apparently. Yeah. So hot. But that's rainy season. It rains in the morning for a bit and you think, oh, it's going to be a rubbish day. But then it's like this and it's boiling hot. So we're just stood on that. Um, the Eagle Square, there's no shade there so we had to come out away and we're going to try and find somewhere to have a drink now. Might you want to try one of these plus things? This one? Yeah. What is it? Carbonated oh. isotonic electrolyte. It's a Malaysian drink. <laughs> Do you want to share these? Yeah, let's share them. This is like some sort of Malaysian energy drink I think, or like a... <laughs> is it energy drink? It's yeah, I like... guess it's an energy drink. Oh, hydration it's drink. electrolytes in it. Yeah, nice. it's hydration, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. What's it taste like? It tastes like a lime fizzy drink. Langkawi is actually a UNESCO geopark, national park, which I didn't actually know until I came here. So like the whole island is like protected and it's classed as a geopark. There's Kilm Kars, Kilm, Kilm Kars, like similar to Thailand, Vietnam, Halong Bay, um, just beautiful landscapes here. We just drove into Kua on the bike the town bit I think this is the main town bit but we're gonna go and have some food now because it's nearly dinner time and we're hungry it's very quiet here in Kua compared to Pantai Chenang um, which as I said earlier is more of a touristy hotspot 
It's like a nice little seaside town. Hello. Here. So, we found a cafe. This place is called Arts Cafe in Kua, um, which is where the eagle is. And it looks very, very nice. There's uh, a lot of Western choice here. Yeah. Um, Malaysian dishes. Do breakfast here as well. That looks good to be fair. 33 RM. This menu looks really good. Some salads there. Look at that. Look at our pasta. Homemade pot pies. Kidding. Tell you what though, look at these pieces. They're not bad, are they? Look at them. I'm just gonna make my own. Yeah, I'm gonna get pizza. You are? Yeah. What when you get? Probably just cheese. Good choice. <laughs> Thank you. Got a beer. Look at that. Beer on draft. And draft. Beat it. Love beer. So good. Something about beer on draft just tastes so much better than out of a can or a bottle, isn't it? Yeah, 100%. It's so like refreshing. Look at these pieces. I got a chicken and mushroom pizza, and I'm so excited. Look at so these veggie pizza. How is that? So cheesy. Is it good? Oh, really good. Recommend coming in? Definitely, her face was like, yeah, god damn, yeah. I'm trying to look like... Trying to look like fashion on the video, mm. but it's just stuffing your face yeah. with a pizza. I'm hungry. <laughs> We're back home. Back home to our little bungalow. It's our bunk. It's a nice day, isn't it? Yeah, it's been a good yeah. day. Exploring. Good day, exploring. Yeah, I've got brown today by the looks of it as well. Yeah, you do look brown. Catching the tan. And this is how quickly it changes. Lovely and sunny earlier today, and then the heavens open. Call the sun today, babe. I know. Look at this. It's not good. No. Let's get rid of these tan lines. Yeah, it's really hot today, and now the heavens have opened. And hopefully, it doesn't rain tomorrow because we have got some exciting stuff planned. So, we're going to be going to the cable car and the sky bridge and Seven Wells waterfall. So, I'm really excited. Apparently, it's the steepest cable car in the whole world which sounds a bit scary, but that'd be cool. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure you hit that like button. If you'd like to see our next video on Langkawi, then make sure you subscribe. You might wanna watch this video next if you like this one, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Got two drinks. So we've got a single burger with cheese in it, and chicken, and lettuce. Got a small portion of chips. A bit naff, so 